Hey guys, what is up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com. Today, we are talking about what happens when you ride the brakes when you taxi an airplane. One of my big pet peeves with students when they're first learning to fly, they feel like they're going a little too fast. They ride the brakes rather than just reducing the power. Let's see exactly how hot these brakes really get. So all too often I'm seeing students apply brake rather than reduce power when they're taxiing out to the runway. Now there's a lot of other times students are really hard on brakes, but we routinely see brake changes on trainer aircraft being 100 to 150 hours, when on my personal airplanes I've gone 500-600 hours without actually changing the brake pads ever. No need for it, they're not wearing out, we measure them, they look just fine. Now on trainer aircraft they're getting worn down way fast, and that is because I routinely see people taxiing with 1200-1300 RPM. Going a little too quick, they apply some brakes and they just ride those brakes rather than taxing along at 800 to 1000 RPM or a lower RPM setting where you wouldn't need to constantly ride the brakes. Now of course, we have to apply brakes to taxi at a safe speed, we should also be getting the power out of there so we're not causing excess wear on the brakes and especially causing excess temperature which could eventually lead to brake fade and less effective brakes when we really need them the most. So let's go ahead and see here, right now we've got about 77 degrees on our brake caliper and on our rotor. So 77 degrees there. Now we're gonna go ahead and taxi out a half a mile and we'll shut down, get out, check what our temperatures are, riding the brakes. We'll be taxiing along at about 1200 to 1300 RPM. And then we'll go ahead and taxi in the last half mile. So it'll be a one mile round trip. Same thing, 1200 to 1300 RPM, riding those brakes just like students do. We'll see how hot these things get, I'm betting every bit of 200 degrees or more, we'll see how hot they really get, and we'll also see how much they really wear out. We'll take a little picture here of what the pads look like now, and then what the pads look like after a mile of really hard taxing. So our brake pad or rotor temperature was at 367 degrees Fahrenheit just after taxing about a half a mile with the brakes dragging right around 1100 to 1200 RPM. And our actual caliper temperature was all the way up at 251 degrees Fahrenheit. So the overall temperature of that caliper that holds the piston and the brake pads in there. Let's go ahead and taxi back the last half mile to the hangar, shut down and see how hot these things really get. After one full mile of taxing with the brakes lightly dragging, at about 1,000 to 1,200 RPM. All right, so back in the hangar, looking at about 345, 360. It's, uh, it's hot, the inner part of that rotor there. 350, 346. Pretty, uh, pretty warm. The actual caliper itself, oh, it's only hit about 200 for the actual caliper, but it's probably taking some time for the heat to dissipate throughout it, about 204 for the caliper. As far as the rest of the assembly, well, we're starting to see the strut, the bottom of the strut hit about 100 degrees, 102 degrees there. Uh, our tire, well, normal, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside air temperature today, about 75, 80 degrees out here. Uh, but parts of this are returning, uh, well over 300 degrees. So uh, pretty uh, pretty warm there. As far as wear, well, you guys can be the judge of it. It definitely wore out some. We only taxied about a mile, and it's, uh, it's definitely no better for the wear. Maybe a little bit worse for the wear too. Um, shockingly enough, this airplane hasn't taxied in a while. It didn't even chew off much rust off the rotor, but I think the pads is really where you see a lot of that wear. As Stephanie so astutely noticed, it is very stinky, things are kind of burning here. And it's, uh, it's fairly warm. Uh, and the steam's even kind of brown because this thing has not taxied really well for many, many months. And God, it stinks, but it's, uh, it's warm to say the least. Um, how much damage gets done for just one taxi out by a student running about 1,000 to 1,100 RPM? That's what we ended up doing. We found that 1,000 to 1,100 RPM was plenty actually to uh, really drag the brakes very lightly 
And uh, this is what we got from it. So how much damage is done? Well, definitely a lot more damage than if you're taxing at 800 RPM and not using any brakes at all. So that's, uh, that's what we got for you guys on this one. Like we said, this is all part of our what's inside of an airplane slash destroy an airplane video series. Lots of videos here on YouTube and a lot, lot more on the website at flyatmikealpha.com. Everything from how does this little valve here work? How does the strut work? How do the brakes work? What does the inside of a wing look like? What's the inside of a fuel tank look like? How does the engine work? All that stuff. We're going to cut up this Cherokee into little bitty pieces and explain every single part of it to you guys. Check it out on YouTube as well as many more videos online at flyatmikealpha.com. And remember, if you guys cannot fly every day, then flyatmikealpha.com. We'll see y'all in the next one.